Hey, I'm here. Where's my family? charge now. I'm in charge. I guess he didn't take it then. Okay. Plan B. In half a mile, keep right to merge onto Florida's Turnpike. Okay, so let me explain the rules to this challenge. Essentially, we have to come up with a handheld story, no gimbals, on anything that we choose. It has to be about one minute long, and uh, it can be on anything, but story must be the king of everything that we're doing. You can do interesting transitions, you can, you know, have dialogue, actors, whatever it is, but essentially we have to create a story that's one minute long in this dark nighttime conditions, and apparently it's very windy. I don't know if how this audio is coming out, but, but yeah. So that's the challenge. We're going to get to it. So we here with Brian and Kenson. We gonna do the nighttime videography challenge. Yeah. Now, I, now, okay. So I think that you're actually gonna lose, Mike. Why? Yeah. What do you mean? The lowest f-stop on your lens is what? One of them. I have two. One is four. Yeah, and I have one prime. It's a 35 that goes down to 1.4, 1.2. What? You didn't even get a prime. How was that? It. I just never use it. Uh, Bam! He got it. Yeah. Bam. Got him. Oh, Bam. Secret weapon. Bam. Didn't see it coming. All right, so change of plans. We were gonna have like independent videos, but that doesn't seem to work. Uh, when we were talking about what our independent videos was gonna be like, uh, turns out that we had pretty much the same idea. So instead we changed the challenge. We are now doing a long form story where each of us would conceptualize our own piece of the story and then tie it together. We know what each other are doing. We just have to know how we're gonna piece it together. Since I'm first, I have it the easiest because I open the scene so I can open it however I want. But then Brian, who's going next, has to figure out how to continue the story along with the idea that he had. So he's currently thinking up how to continue the story. Kinson, who had zero clue as to what he was gonna do, like, none. He has it the hardest because he has to figure out how to end it. And since he's the one who's the main character in the beginning for both me and Brian's video, 
how is he gonna finish it off? However he does it, he's gonna have to figure out a way to finish this off since he's also doing the recording. So I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is gonna be fun. You know, one of the problems that I have with videography, and it's not that I have a qualm with it, but just one of the things that I need to work on is that I get kind of anxious when I have to get a shot. And if it doesn't go right like the first two times, then I feel like this enormous pressure build on me that I have to kind of get it really, really fast. Uh, and if I don't, then I kind of accept any crap that kind of comes onto the screen just so I don't hold up anybody. And what ends up happening is I have crappy shots and then I try to make the best of it. But Kinson, if you see him all the way out there, he is taking his sweet ass time and I'm pretty certain his stuff is going to come out looking real good because he's taking, like, he's, he's finessing it, whereas I was just kind of rushing through it because I didn't want to take their time. He's finessing it, so I really hope his stuff come out really good. You have to kind of cross and not show fear. see it they're like oh run him over he's not destined to be in this world but yeah so i think we did pretty good i think we did pretty good so um hopefully it's not gonna look like trash hopefully my stuff isn't focus enough because i was having a real hard time with that one my f stop was at like f stop one point no i had it at 2.0 but i just suck with like pulling focus and sony suck man it just it was i was having the hardest time but brian's stuff looked pretty dope and Kinson over here was just getting all sorts of angles, finessing the entire thing. So you'll see stuff. <laughs>